a, a young yes. son who's very into it. I have a 12 year old, yes, yeah, son Hunter, who usually I can't get him off the Xbox. Right. So it's more of a gaming obsession than it is. Yeah. Uh, and oddly enough, I don't, I don't ever play. It's hard to pull so, away. I mean, I grew up yeah. with them, and I can I can only imagine what it would be like if I had the quality of games now. That's right. I mean, when I was a kid, I played with weather instruments. <laughs> just kidding. That makes total sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah no one that knew. totally yeah. makes sense. Yeah, maybe I did. You know, yeah. I'm just being honest. Hey, uh, speaking of weather instruments, though, you're going to need them. Uh, fog, rain, wind. We've got everything. Snow in the mountains coming up this week. A typical November day as we look across the cameras right now. It's down to 30 now up at Mount Hood Meadows, Vancouver 42, Lincoln City also 47. There's that shot up at the mountain. Boy, folks got up there. They got to do some skiing this weekend. So a couple of preview days on Saturday and a day. Although, unfortunately, folks, I don't think the snow is going to stick around in the mountains because the freezing level is on the way up. Warmer system coming in. But boy, it was a nice sunrise up there at Mount Hood Meadows today in this time lapse. Look at all the folks out there enjoying the afternoon and I'm a big skier myself so I hope there's more of that to come. Current temperatures 41 is all we can muster right now in Salem. You folks stayed in the fog most of the day. 49 at PDX, 49 in Vancouver. Similar numbers out there along the coast. 30s through the Columbia River Gorge with areas of fog there and mostly in the 30s and 40s but cool in the evening. Uh, 28 there at Burns. High temperatures today. There's that 50 at Portland, 49 in Vancouver but again when you're socked in with the fog, Hillsborough just 40, 41 at McMinnville, 43 in Salem. I think we're going to warm it up a bit tomorrow. There's those returns on the radar just starting to push into the northern coast. I think this evening the rain will pick up before it backs off. It'll be fairly dry for most of the day tomorrow. Just five one hundredths at Astoria, 1 100th at Newport, and uh, nothing else in the valley and on the east side. Boy, those numbers are really going to pick up. Speaking of rainfall, just 1.49 inches of rain through midnight last night. We can say all the way up through right now because we haven't had any rain today. That's a deficit of almost three inches below where we should be, and about 4.39 is normal through this day in the month. We're going to pick up a lot of that in the next couple of days, although unfortunately I don't think we're going to go above average for the entire month that ends here on Friday. But a wet and cool week ahead, rainy and windy system, a fairly significant system on Tuesday. See gusts along the coast, maybe 50 to 60 miles per hour, and showers and cooler weather later on in the week. An aerial flood watch on the lee side of the Olympic Mountains up in northwest Washington. Winter weather advisory through the northern Washington Cascades, and there's that high wind watch until Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. for the entire coast, south Washington coast, and actually on the northern Washington coast, it's a high wind warning already is that next system system moves in. There's that rainfall overnight tonight. I expect some rain in the valley, but then on Monday it clears out uh, in the afternoon. But boy, here's 530. That next system plows through the area tomorrow night. A lot of rain and wind along the coast. That pushes into the valley overnight and into your Tuesday for a few more scattered showers on Wednesday and then another system coming in on uh, Friday. Here's those winds as we were talking about. The wind gust forecast. We'll stop it right here at 2 a.m. on Tuesday. Winds gusting as high as maybe 50, 55 along the coast, 35, maybe 40 in the the valley and similar numbers over there for you folks in Central Oregon. That wind backs off on Tuesday night and a Wednesday. Boy, these rainfall totals, not much tomorrow, but by tomorrow night and into Tuesday, an inch to an inch and a half from the coast all the way to the Cascades. I think that's a good bet. We're going to see those numbers as we get into later in the week by Wednesday and Thursday. Just a quick look at that seven day forecast. Looks a lot like a November forecast. Mid 50s the next couple of days, a wet and windy day on Tuesday, followed by showers, rain again. You get the point, right? Shower, <laughs> shower, shower, shower. Yeah, showers. makes the grass green. Yeah, it is November. Thank you very much, Steve. <laughs> we got to get over to sports now because, Adam, you got a full day ahead. Yeah, we had all three of the teams here playing. Yeah. Locally. The Timbers, the Blazers, and the Seahawks earlier, but a uh, nice little treat for sports.